All right. I don't know if you noticed, but this morning I brought a tree. You like my tree? Is it really a tree? No. No, it's not really a tree. How do you know it's not a tree? Because we could see the ripped part of it. Oh, yeah. It's really just a branch. It's been torn off of a tree. Um, is it alive? No. No, how do you know? It has to be connected to the tree to be alive, doesn't it? It still looks like it's alive. In fact, it still is a cedar, but it's dead. And after a while, we'll be able to see more and more evidences that it's dead. Unless, somehow, we can attach this thing back to the tree. If we could attach it back to the tree, you think it would live? There actually is a way. You can graft it in, and if it makes a solid connection, and it's, then the tree starts feeding it again, it'll grow again. It's not easy, but you can do it. And this is the connection that God wants us to think about with Jesus. If someone knows about Jesus, looks like a Christian, acts like a Christian, but isn't connected to Jesus, are they a Christian? No, in fact... They're not even alive, are they? The one thing that they need more than anything else is to find some way to get reconnected to Jesus. It's not easy, but it's possible. And the great thing about reconnecting to Jesus... Okay. <laughs> the great thing about reconnecting with Jesus... We could put it back on, yeah. The great thing about reconnecting with Jesus is he always is ready. He always wants us to. In fact, he uses his power to connect us back in. So when we think about what we're doing here today, we're staying connected to Jesus. When we think about what we're doing in footsteps, we're staying connected to Jesus. When we think about what we're doing, when we're praying, when we're reading the Bible, when we have devotion with our family, we're staying connected to Jesus. And if somehow we get ripped off like this thing did, excuse me, he always is ready to bring us back in, make us part of him again, and give us life. So let's celebrate that today, and let's fold our hands and pray. Yes? That would be awesome tape. It takes a little more than tape, but it can be done. With Jesus, however, he uses his power to keep us connected to him. Now, I have, I'm feeling a real deep need for prayer right now. So, let's fold our hands and let's talk to Jesus. Dear Jesus, keep us connected to you. Feed us with your word. Show us your love. And always keep us close. In your name we pray. Amen. Okay, go ahead.
Grace to you and